hello. I didn't see you there. I was just watching this great movie. You know, and it, it got me thinking. The film industry uses a lot of manipulation. I'm not, I'm not talking about manipulation as in mind control. I'm talking about manipulation in emotion and interest. For example, a horror movie has to scare you. An action movie has to keep you on the edge of your seat. A romance has to make you all warm and gooey on the inside. And so on and so forth. But what is it in movies that control these emotions? Well, we're going to look at a few. The first thing we're going to look at today is music. How does music alter our perception of what's going on? We're going to look at a clip. This clip is not going to have any music. Then later, we're going to add some music and see what happens to it. Well, I had no idea what the hell was going on in that. Let's add some dramatic background music. See? It completely changes it. Now we see this clip as a dramatic confrontation between man and bird, or something along those lines. Let's shake it up a bit. Let's add some, a different kind of music, see what happens. The next thing we're going to be looking at today is cuts. No, I don't mean cuts as in like cutting yourself. No, I'm talking about editing. The following clip will have very few cuts. And then we're going to add some more cuts into it later and see how it changes things. As you can see with few cuts, it's not really very exciting, but keeps you on the edge of your seat. You're not sure what's going to happen. Now, let's play a different clip, but with a lot of cuts. Once again, you're on the edge of your seat, but it's different this time. Your heart is racing. You're in the action. It completely changes how you feel in that moment. On to the next topic. Next, we're going to talk about mood. And by mood, I mean coloring and lighting. Once again, I'm going to show you two clips. The first one is not going to have the manipulation device. And the second one is. In this clip, it just looks like it was a long day at school. He's tired. He's lazy. He just wants to take a nap. Let's do it again.
My God, that must have been the worst day of school in his life. I don't know what happened, but God, it completely changed everything. Our last and final topic is background. We got to care about our characters. Because let's face it, who wants to watch a movie about someone we don't even care if they make it to the end or not? Oh, who am I kidding? Who cares about if you care about the story? Hollywood doesn't, so why should we? <laughs> but seriously, this really is the most important thing. You gotta create feeling for your character. You gotta make the audience care about them. You can't just have a blob of a character. He has to have a background. He has to have a history. We have to, we have to know what he ate for breakfast. Otherwise, when he dies in the end, we're just going to go, meh. I didn't like him anyway. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope it was real eye-opening for you. Now we see that if the film industry did not use manipulation, movies are just movement on a screen. There's really nothing to them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go back to watching my movie. Yes, I watch my movies with glasses. Got a problem with that? Didn't think so.